Good morning Year 1. For today's maths lesson you are learning to measure length in centimetres. We're going to begin with our anchor. Eva wants to measure the length of her chew bar. The chew bar is how many cubes long? So pause the video now and work out the length of the chew bar. Okay, so we can see that the chew bar is four cubes long. And today we are learning to measure using a ruler. So here we've got the chew bar and we have lined the ruler up so that the edge of the chew bar is level with where it says zero on the ruler, so it's at zero centimetres. And then to work out the length in centimetres, we have to read across. And as you can see, the numbers are getting bigger. And then when we get to the end of the object, we go down and we can see it is level with the eight. So that tells us that the chew bar is eight centimetres, which we write as a C and an M, long. This time we are measuring the length of the pencil and again the end of it has been lined up with the zero and then we have to read across to find the other end and look down we can see that it is 10 centimetres long. So what I would like you to do now is to measure the length of each item in centimetres using the ruler. Pause the video now and have a go. The length of the cubes we can see is 5 centimetres. The carrot is 9 centimetres long. And the spider, or the ant, I should say, is two centimetres long. OK, here Jack and Annie have each made a tower using cubes. So Jack has made the blue tower and Annie has made the yellow tower. And Annie says... My tower is taller because I used more cubes. Is Annie correct? How can we check more accurately? Now, just because Annie has used more cubes, it does not mean that her tower is taller because we can see that she has used smaller cubes than what Jack has used. If we want to check the length more accurately, we can use a ruler. And then we can tell whose tower is taller by comparing their length in centimetres. So when Jack's was measured using a ruler, it was 12 centimetres tall. And when Annie's cubes were measured, they were 8 centimetres tall. So that tells us that Jack's tower is taller than Annie's tower because 12 is a greater number than 8. Now here the question says Lee thinks his toy bus measures 9 centimetres. So here's his bus and he's measuring it using a ruler. Explain the mistake he has made. Now remember, when we are measuring using a ruler, the end of the object must begin on the zero. And as we can see here, they've started measuring from three, not from zero. So the bus should be over here. So 
So he thinks it's nine centimetres long because he has started measuring it in the wrong place. Lee should have measured the length of the bus starting at zero centimetres. So we should have started here. For this question, Eve thinks the plant is taller than the watering can. Is she correct? Explain your answer. OK, so we need for this one to measure the height of each object. Now, the height of the watering can is four centimetres. And the height of the plant is six centimetres. And we know that six is a greater number than four. So the plant is taller than the watering can. Eve is correct. So in our answer, we can write Eve is correct because the plant is six centimetres tall and the watering can is four centimetres tall. Six is a greater number than four. And finally, this question says, whose ribbon is being measured? So Nala says, my ribbon is greater than five centimetres long. And Ralph says, my ribbon is less than seven centimetres long. And then we've got a ruler and we've got the piece of ribbon. So Nala's is greater than five centimetres long and Ralph's is less than seven centimetres. Let's begin by having a look at how long the length of ribbon is. So we've started measuring at zero. And the piece of ribbon ends at eight centimetres. So we know that the, the ribbon is eight centimetres long. Now, Ralph says his piece of ribbon is less than seven centimetres. And we know that eight is greater than seven. So this piece of ribbon cannot be Ralph's. But Nala says my ribbon is greater than five centimetres. So it's longer than five centimetres. So we know that the piece of ribbon must belong to Nala. And here are your questions for today. For silver, you are measuring the length of these objects using the ruler. So you are measuring in centimetres. For question two, you are measuring the length of these pieces of ribbon and then deciding which one is longer. For question three, you are measuring the height of the towers. And then here you have got a reasoning question. So Eva thinks that her tower is taller than Whitney's, but shorter than Moe's. So how long could Eva's tower be? Is there more than one answer? So you're answering the problem. For gold, you are completing these problem solving and reasoning questions. We've been through examples of each one. So go back if you're struggling and have another listen. 
and for platinum you are answering these more challenging questions.